afternoon, the New Mexico Supreme Court today heard oral arguments about whether businesses can sue the state for compensation due to the closures from the public health orders. News 13's Gabrielle Burkhart listened in on the virtual hearing this afternoon. Throughout the COVID-19 pandemic, businesses went through waves of shutdowns and reopenings. Now, several of them are arguing they deserve compensation from the state for lost revenue. The right to, to have property and have it not taken by the government without providing just compensation is a fundamental liberty recognized in our Bill of Rights. Attorney Blair Dunn, representing the parties of interest in this case, argued today that these cases should stay in district courts to address individual cases rather than a broad sweeping decision by the Supreme Court. The state of New Mexico, care. Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham and former Health Secretary Kathy Kunkel are defendants in 14 lawsuits pending before 11 district court judges across New Mexico. Now, each case seeks similar relief and argue they should be compensated by the state for suffered losses due to public health orders. Businesses suing include restaurants, a Hinkle Family Fun Center, a floral shop, and an elite fitness and tanning business. To avoid confusion and contradictory orders, the Attorney General's office asked the state Supreme Court to weigh in. Rather than people and businesses filing thousands of lawsuits for individual relief under a constitution and law that does not support them, economic relief should be provided through the legislature. Now, the state argues public health orders and business shutdowns were necessary and legal to protect New Mexicans in the pandemic from the COVID-19 virus. The state Supreme Court justices started deliberating this afternoon around 3 p.m. and we're still awaiting a decision. We'll have that for you just as soon as it happens. Back to you. OK, thanks, Gabby. Now, this is now the third lawsuit brought to the Supreme Court by businesses against the governor and the public health order. In the previous cases, the court sided with the governor's office.